Good evening and welcome to tonight's match between Intoxicated and Xenophobia. This is Oz Fortress Season 17? Yes, um, it I is. just had a total mind blank. I was going, wait, wait, I'm, I'm ready for this. Which season are we in again? Yeah, Season 17, Premier Division. Um, should be a good one. We've obviously got... So, so these two teams, not at the total top, but they're, they're still really solid teams. And they're kind of actually pretty close together on the leaderboard right now. I think they're both... Um, I think this is 5th and 4th, and uh, remember, top 4 do go through to finals, so these two teams are going to be fighting out really, really hard, because honestly, the winner of these two teams could, could be securing themselves a finals berth. That is absolutely correct. So, I'm actually very, very, very excited for this match tonight. My name is GBJ, and you are watching Round 5. Yeah, um, so the maps tonight will be... Uh, granary and viaduct and uh product. I mean, pr well product sorry I, I still say viaduct it's still te it's just the pro version of viaduct so you know it's a bit getting a bit technical there but you know <laughs> still too much like particularly viaduct for me i love watching that map as a cast i think it's really entertaining i think granary can be a really entertaining map to watch as well depending on the teams i just hate playing it because i'm a demo main and i'm terrible at rollouts on it <laughs> i'm honestly i'm not a fan of product just too much stuff going on at once it's very hard to keep up to be honest and I'm, I'm honestly surprised that anyone would enjoy uh, product as a map altogether. Really? Like, I don't know. I, th I think part of the fun is is that there's no stalemate. There is never a stalemate on Viaduct because you always have to push, and that's where the action is. There's always action, and sometimes like there they, they, they can be innovation. Like I'm, I'm not talking you know ridiculously crazy strats, just but in terms of the way people play it. And the, the difference between how aggressive a team is and how defensive a team is really shows out. There are some maps where that kind of gets a bit muted. Um, you can't really notice it as much, and they kind of just, just go with the flow of the map. But with Viaduct, you really get to see how a team prefers to play, and I really, really enjoy that because of that. And, and, and there's a lot of pressure with it, too, obviously. You know, you have kind of... There's, there's, all, there's always pressure on you. You, you, don't, you. you don't have time to just sit back and relax and think, okay, we're just going to like, sit out here, let them push into us and figure out what we're going to do. There's always, there's always pressure on you. I mean, unless you have secure control of the point and are able to get really good forward positioning up. And even then, you're still, it could still turn at the flick I, of a switch. I can see where you're coming from on liking it, but at the same time, I just can't get behind any of it because it's just... it's. So much going on at once, so many sight lines you have to worry about. When you're playing on like a map like Granary, there's only a few places you really have to worry about, but on products, you always just feel so exposed to just everything, absolutely everything, like a spy what? or a sniper or just a random push or a random bomb, anything like that. I think that's why I'm excited for tonight, because like this particular set of maps, you've got Granary, you've got Viaduct, Granary being one end of the spectrum where it, it's, it's really about your secure, your slow, your patient play and being able to have really coordinated pushes. But, you know, Viaduct is much more about just being really, really fast paced in terms of how you execute things. And it, does, it, it rewards more kind of, I guess, frantic play, if, if, if you could call it that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've got all 12 into the server, so uh, we're going to be going live pretty soon, I'd imagine. So I guess we can go, go through the rosters now. So on the side of... Uh, ooh, lost them. The side of... Oh, you, you take, a, you take a Intoxicated and I'll go through Xenophobia, because I just got yeah, the word from Paulson, there's a bit of a um, change-up. So we've got a MG and... Uh, and well... I was going to say Paulson on Scout. Paulson's actually playing Roma tonight instead of Scout. Ha! <laughs> the circle um, is complete. Yeah, so Max on Pocket. I believe that would make York um, the, the second Scout then. Um, Muppet is on Demo, and they're using Doge as a Merc on Med. Okay. Well, yeah, Doge has had a lot of experience in, in Premier, especially playing Med. I always knew him as a Highlander sniper, and he was always quite good at it, but he made that transition to uh, Premier Med pretty quickly, and he seems yeah. to be doing really well. I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of uncommon, I guess, you know, Highlander Sniper to med, but I've seen it happen before. I know um, a while ago, Keys was a, was, was, pretty, was a really good sniper, and he did the same sort of thing. He was med main, but also just a ridiculous sniper. Um, but it, 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 it's not unheard of. But yeah, he's certainly, certainly a competent med, and I'm sure he'll be able to fill, fill the gap effectively. 
Uh, so we are going to be going live in about two minutes. Both teams have just agreed to ready up at te- uh, 8.15. So we'll jump on into uh, Zenith, uh, Intoxicated, sorry, uh, their <laughs> roster. They, I'm not sure how to say his name. Is it Cosco or just Cos? Uh, you can say either. It works, it works either way. His name's yeah. Cosco, but he's fine with Cos. So, right, so we have Cosco on mid, uh, Skeznik on Roma. Uh, I'm not sure how to say this one either. It's JVSHA. Sorry, um, no, like Jash. Just call him Jash. J- oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So Jash and uh, Ben, well, Benjamin on Scout, uh, Moop on Demo, and Hertz on Pocket. So Hertz, of course, he actually started off the very, very beginning of the season playing on an uh, was a low intermediate team, and now he's actually playing prem. So that's a that's a bit of a difference in what he was looking for this season. Obviously, he's always been capable of playing in prem, and he has been for the last few seasons. But decided to get play in an open team out of nowhere, then jumping back up to a uh, to a premier team is quite the change. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how he's gonna uh, gonna go. Especially in this game, I think it was uh, maybe his third or second game in Premier for this season. So hopefully he's got to head time to adjust from from the open scrims and matches and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he'll be fine. Um, I think honestly, on paper, these teams both have like their, their strengths and weaknesses on both teams that I feel like kind of cancel each other out in terms of just just the raw on paper skill. I feel like like I, I rate Moop fairly highly on demo. I think he's really solid. Um, Muppet certainly um, not not awful as well. Like he's he's really good as well. Um, I'd say though I, I give slight demo edge there to Intoxicated, but then on the other hand, I think the soldiers up on um, Xenophobia are slightly slightly better there too. So uh, especially with Paulson on on Roma tonight, um, and then in Scouts, I'd say tonight are fairly even in my personal opinion. But I mean, I, I guess there is the the you know particularly on Viaduct the sniper off class potential. So we'll see how that goes. And we're actually, we're going live, really, really, yeah, so directly on 8.15, as you said. So we have opened up here. I'm going to be following, probably, I'm going to be following the blue demo here to mid, see how he goes on his rollout. Both demos seeming to be a little bit equal, just making it to mid now. The opening uh, spam is coming out. I think we're getting a re-exec, yeah. Yeah, uh. we're getting a re-exec. So, I mean, <laughs> deciding <laughs> to take an inopportune bathroom break, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Um, they're all they're all here, and we'll be going live momentarily, regardless. So uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, as I said before, this is the uh, week five Oz Fortress season seventeen match, prem match between Intoxicated and Xenophobia Phobia. The winner of this team potentially taking out the final finals, uh, I guess, spot. So uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, pending any ridiculous upsets potentially, but uh, you know, fourth, so fifth versus fourth. Could really be a t- you know important match for both yeah. these teams. Yeah, no, it's definitely going to be a great game. A lot of a lot of everything on the line, really, especially just in this season. I mean, you have Gramps on uh, Xenophobia Phobia. This is his first uh, season on Premier, and he actually rose up through the ranks quite quickly. He used to be just a Highlander player, and he but he made his up his way up through the through the leagues quite fast. So this season, being his first and if he gets that chance to go into finals in his first season, that really says a lot about his abilities in mid. Um, yeah, actually, we've got the ready up again finally. So, uh, so maybe this time we'll probably be live. Here so, we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, good luck, have fun, goes out. No bathroom breaks, hopefully. And uh, yeah, map one, Viaduct of a uh, week five match. Take it away, George. So I'm watching Muppet here making it to mid. Opening spam is just going to be coming out here. No significant damage going either way. Just the typical spam of your average product match. No significant damage as of yet. Cos does take a little bit of damage. Double soldier bomb coming in from the blue team and they take down Muppet. That was an easy pick for them with that double bomb. Meanwhile, HTZ going down. Doge goes down. That's a massive pick for them. And oh, it's just about turned into an absolute wipe. But both teams are still so even. DJ gets a nice pick. <laughs> it goes down oh anyway. wow! Yeah, Benj actually went huge there. It was looking pretty, potentially pretty grim. But his uh, those two frags really, really important. Gramps actually going to go down pretty late. Maybe is he going to get it? Benj, oh. he doesn't quite. Gramps picks up the health pack, gets out alive. That's huge. That actually, that, that actually secured them so much potentially. It was a really passive mid at the start. Both teams uh, just waiting for a farewell. Double soldier bomb coming out after a little while from Intoxicated. Nice, nicely coordinated. Um, and yeah, I guess. <laughs> Really, really close. Really uh, lucky that Gramps got away there, there for uh, Xenophobia. 
so we're just actually coming into a stalemate just but you can see typical product stalemate so much damage and spam getting thrown across there's no off classes yet which i'm i'm disappointed with i always love seeing a sniper on these product maps another team looking to make a player right now oh it looks like hdz did go up onto that rock he takes a fair bit of damage but it looks like he's going to go in paulson goes in for a bomb trying to pick him off but doesn't Make anything happen with it. Mac is actually quite low on this right side. He's getting very aggressive, but the Uber has popped out onto him. Blue opting to use the Uber now as well. So looks like Intoxicator is going to come out here with the better Uber in the end. Scares goes down. Oh, nice. Uh, Jash like takes Graham. down Doge. Uh, yeah, that's actually huge. Um, I mean, this should be the win, the the, the, the secured uh, mid there for Intoxicator. The fight's still going on though. Bomb coming in. Looks like Paulson now he's actually jumping away. But MG picks up two frags, and that actually might get them enough point presence to be able to cap this up. Well they're still gonna hold on to this point. Uh, both soldiers are up and HTZ uh, scares getting very aggressive. My bad. He's stuck all the way back on grass but goes down anyway. It's not getting too much done. It's just the three players standing up on the point right now. They're holding on desperately but they've got so many players there to push up but they haven't capped the point yet so just capping it now. And that's that gonna force scrappy. them all the way back. That was beyond scrappy. It was actually really weird from uh, Xenophobia at the start. They played it so slow and they took so much damage before take, taking that Uber in. I felt like they could have gone a lot more aggressive and taken a lot more damage and done a lot more with that Uber had they not just played so passively and just slowly walked their way up. It worked out for them in the end. It took them a while to do it. Uh, so the Ubers are even yet again 100 and 100 on both both teams. So. Of course, uh, Xenophobia Foe getting aggressive, pop the river, as does Intoxicated. Mac just walking around trying to find some damage, but they multied a fair bit, but the Ubers are going to end fairly evenly. MG going down to a rocket from Scares, as well as Doge, but HTZ has traded and returned, but aggressiveness oh. takes down Muppet, but Scares and <laughs> Jash going down at the same time. As you said, it's just such a scrappy game, it's just Mac and Gramps up, they're going to try to get out Clipslide. That was nicely yeah. played by Intoxicated. They stuck together so well on that point and focused down targets really, really effectively. I'm um, surprised about Xenophobia. They just took, yeah, they, they took one v threes, one v fours in that fight. Didn't quite work out. Anyway, they are actually come back in. Ng picks up a nice early frag on Avenge, so uh, that should uh, give them a nice solid opening there. And Roop goes down to Paulson. That's an excellent pick from them. A demo on product is just so good. Scares nearly getting out the grass. So he's so hurt. HTZ picks up the trade, however. Oh, HTZ. He's actually holding on for much longer than he should be. He's got MG right behind him, doesn't see him, he gets taken down. Two scouts up on the side of Xenophobia Fabia. Gramp's going to get chased down, not escaping this time. But they're going to get the point back. Time yeah, neither at... team been able to actually like stick together. A, a proper solid defense. It's just been really, really back and forth. And both teams kind of, once they get there, they've been really good, good at pushing it. But once they're on it, they seem to kind of lose a bit of focus. And... Uh, it started out kind of nice for Xenophobia, but they just lost it towards the end. Um, I feel like they just need to kind of group up together a bit more and, and call their targets better, because I think they're just kind of getting a bit distracted and trying to pick fights that they can't necessarily win. So Soldier came, Bomb came in from Paulson. He's oh. going to get a little bit of damage on the cause. He goes very low, actually. He pops his over. That's very good for them. Gramps is all the way back at Cliff. He's so safe right now. He has HTZ up on Cliff to worry about, but he's got so many players around him as long as they stay vigilant. But the double soldier bomb coming in onto him takes him down. Such a good pick. Oh, that's Scares huge. goes down, but that is so useful for them after the losing their mid. And time's ticking down as well. Then maybe don't have long left, and uh, they're, they're kind of trying to make a bit of a last ditch play here, or second last ditch, I guess you'd say. Um, taking too much damage though, Mac only on 8 HP, probably not even going to make it out. Stuck it here in China, so... Look at him, actually, no, he'll be fine. But, uh, five seconds left. They have Here's the final just... effort. Final effort, onto the point. Oh, Pixar going out, Scares goes down, but as does Paulson Ninji oh, and Doge. Move. Two Move players are 3k off. at the end there, actually. Well, 4k post, post uh, round end. Um, but yeah, I mean, they just didn't have the time at the end, I guess. I feel like Xenophobia Phobia just really need to, yeah, work on their coordination a bit. They were really good at pushing for the most part, but once they had the point, they really got distracted and, and weren't weren't as focused as they were on the on the right things. We have two player aggression here on the on the right side from uh, Intoxicated. One player does oh, go down, scars. but there's a lot of picks going on. Man, there's just so much death and destruction going on, but in the end, it's going to be Xenophobia Phobia that claimed the point, just three players up. 
Oh, Scatter's on the side huge. of Xenophobia Phobia, my bad. Mixing up that the was team names. Yeah. <laughs> that was really nice for Intoxicated. Scatter's jumped in so early and it took him so long to kill him. He actually got two frags, but opened up so much room for his team to move in. Anyway, Jash picks up NG, but Paulson will take down Roop and Roop really important for Ooh. holding on to this. Gets a nice rocket onto Jash. Doge finishes that one off and it's going to be a two, uh, one player ban for uh, Xenophobia coming into this mid. They're just stuck here in this corner, but the, the deep bomb from Scares takes down Grants. That's a good pick from him. Mac is very low. Uber gets popped onto HDZ. Scares going down, however. Muppet goes down also. Uh, that was just a good bomb from them. They got so much damage. It really helped them for that for that push into mid. Paulson oh, gets taken you. down, as does MG. And it's just Mac left up here. He looked like he wanted to go for a bomb, but decided it was uh, not the best choice. Grants coming out cliffside with his demo now. So let's see if they try to get a push going again. Xeno, uh, Intoxicated have a very good hold. Yeah, it's good, doing pretty well so far. Uh, HZ looking there, up on Cliff. Oh, he, he just picks up a frag on a Muppet. And uh, Doge returns that one onto Scatter, so still even players for now. It's still really going to come down to positioning on this one, just for this mid fight, because the players are pretty much even. Doge has actually gotten behind. He's having a one-on-one -on -one with Benja. He is going to win it with just two health left. Meanwhile, the fighting on the midpoint, MG's going down, as has Gramps and Paulson, so... Xenophobia, Phobia, they have a lot of players scattered around, but probably gonna want to get out and try recoup their losses and get ready for another push-in. Mac has actually been playing around this China bit for a very, very long time, just annoying them so much. They haven't yeah, actually been able to get a forward hold. Oh my god, Skaz is, uh, he was doing a lot of work on that flank, managed to get out as well, just delaying them again by a fair amount. We'll probably see a bomb coming in here to try and force Kozkoa, and, uh, Paulson's getting in on the flank, Doge as well, trying to see what they can find. Paulson, big jump, MG has to off Skaz as well, Paulson's behind them, Doge will go down to HGZ, nice rocket there. And uh, looks like Paulson's still trying to find something, get a force, but I like the position. There's the force out. Really low, though, on the intoxicated sky side. Uh, HZ moving in, trying to pick up a frag, not going to find it. Uh, really low, though, on Xenophobia as well. Moot with the Tufa, uh, the nice pipe on the Muppet, and Gramps. So that's huge, taking down the med with that final pipe. Again, just so much damage going out. It's really scrappy between these players, but... I mean, they do have a 2 minute 30 uh, advantage over top of the, the Xenophobia Phobia side right now, so they really that, need to get a push going if they want to win this round. That frag on Gramps was so huge as well, because he was nearly out of supercharge. Paulson jumping in, I think he might have gotten midi there, launched forward, HZ will finish him off. Mac picks up Cosco though, MT gets moop as well, Gramps and Mac down in return, and it looks like the fight is going intoxicated its way. Doge will get the one on the HZ, but MG's the last remaining, and he doesn't Ooh. have much health for speaker. Uh. And that's going to be the second round really convincing from Intoxicated there. That was... I'm really impressed with them. Their aggression was so strong throughout. I feel like their the coordination actually, um, Paulson, on another level. He might be able to jump on the point real quick. It's getting denied. It's just an absolute meat <laughs> oh, grinder. It could, <laughs> it could happen. That could happen because it's the only one left. And it's I wrote just it off. HTZ now. Wow. Well, and a midi. And a midi as well to finish, it, finish that off. I mean, they've got a lot, to, a lot of work to go. Skaz will be uh, another frag there, surely, for Xenophobia. They've got a lot of work to go, but I, I wrote them off. I did not think that they'd be able to get to that point in time. Damn Admittedly, it. I actually don't have the, um, the, the, the times at the top here because my HUD's a bit bust. I mean, I'm, I'm using default HUD, so I don't even know what's up with that. Um, but, you know, I, I, I generally thought they wouldn't make it. Is, yeah, I'm actually very impressed. That, I thought oh, that was just oh, going to be a meat grind, but down. it worked. That's uh, not they, good. But they want to push in again. Yeah, Muppet's gone down. That's a demo down. Just the five players up now for... Xenophobia Fobia intoxicated and making their push back in. HTC goes down early on and the Uber is pop. Xenophobia Fobia, they're going to be getting very aggressive. Moop is alone up here on China, but Jash is going to go down instead. But Moop takes down Paulson and Skaz goes down at the same time. Three players on the side of uh, Intoxicated left for this mid fight. Oh, HTC is going to come nice. back them up, but Koz goes down. Moop is very low. Health pack isn't there, but the players aren't getting aggressive enough to take them down. Uh, ben and HTZ take down Mac and MG, so it looks like a push without a meta is going to come in right now. They're it's really just... low though, this could be defendable, but they're not going to be there in time. It's denied uh... the final jump, and that's a nice defense, or a nice push there rather, um, at the end from Intoxicated, recognizing that just, the fragging classes weren't there for Xenophobia. It, look, Xenophobia Phobia did better at the end there. I feel like the pressure actually helped them group together and, and stay, um, you know, actually working together as a team as opposed to trying to pick 1v1s. Uh, so hopefully they can continue that through onto this round as well. 
early spam going out onto Koz there. He didn't take too much damage, but oh, it's enough Paulson. to be worried about the bomb from Paulson. Oh, that's perfect. Matt going down as well to a nice air shot on him. Paulson goes down to Ben. Meanwhile, MG picks up scares, but it's not much to recoup for. Doge goes down as well. MG gets that pick onto HTZ, but it's not enough to trigger a refresh, or is it? They're there's just... no, there's no. Oh my god, Moob, Moob is hitting twice <laughs> today. Um, Jash will go down though, and and Benjay is pretty low. We'll get finished off by that another pipe by Muppet. So it looks like Demo is doing a bit of work at the end there. I was gonna say there. Um, it looked like you know, I, I would assume Xenophobia would be able to take that point just because their health was better and there were no meds to speak of regardless. But Cosco, a 25% advantage here. Gramps only just spawning. This is looking pretty good for Intoxicated. They'll be happy with that. At least uh, what they got out of the end there. Um, so yeah, looking to see a, a push in probably not very long from now once uh, Coscoa gets about 80% or so. Actually, they're looking to go pretty much now. Yeah, I'm not, honestly, you're not seeing much of an aggressive hold, so I guess they can just do oh. whatever they want. Paulson and Muppet and Doge going down, all just one after the other. MG following that, that trend. Was just brutal. Systematic destruction, really. Mac and Gramps left all the way back, heading back into spawn, waiting for their team. Finally, we might actually see a forward hold from either team, actually. So we hear an Uber is ready. Doge and Gramps coming out with the rest of their team. Engie's taken down very low, but he's just going to dance die? around. Surely, there we go. There we go. Finally goes down. Oh, and while the fighting nice is continuing, uh, Doge is quite hurt, but he's got his med with him. Meanwhile, Scare's going down to a good rocket from Mac. So the Xenophobia uh, Phobia push is going to come in right now onto the mid, but the Untoxicated Uber is popped, as is Gramps' actually, so just they're going to have such a better Uber, as long as they can get the damage out, they should be able to get it done. Benj goes down, but HZ takes down Muppet, and she picks him up, but it's a demo down for what should really be a defense, so it's just three players plus scares on the flank here for Untoxicated. They're pushing in, it's just, oh, nice. just an absolute cluster oh, on the fight again? right now. Are you kidding me, Moop? <laughs> He's setting all Another the pipes long -range onto Gramps. To pick up Gramps. He's going to be frustrated with that. That is ridiculous. And uh, that's going to be massive again for Intoxicated. They've got their heals now. They can move on to this point really easily. That is just... I was going to be singing Xenophobia's praises for that push out there. That is so well. Um, force a distraction up on mid and then bomb two players up onto Cliff. Dealing with a demo and a soldier pretty much instantly was really, really good. But just right at the end, they're losing Gramps. Totally, totally ruined it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess he's got to be a bit more aware of where those pipes are coming from because that's the second or even third potentially long range uh, pipe from Roop that's picked him off. So the Xenophobia uh, you know, push is going to come back in here. Benj takes, uh, Ben gets taken down by MG, but MG's taken down in return, as is Paulson. Uber is popped from Untoxicated right now. Intoxicated, my bad. Uh, Scare's <laughs> just fighting in this cliff here, trying to take down the demos. His uh, pipes aren't as good as they need to be to win that fight, so he's going to run back out without getting a pick. So just the defense that needs to come out from Intoxicated for this push that's going to come in from Xenophobia for any minute now. Just walking over cliffs, just the minute left for them to retake this, so they need to slightly get a move on. The push is coming out now, though. Oh, they're Paulson advancing on the destroyed. point. Paulson taken down just instantly. Nothing getting done by him. The Uber yeah, has popped was... out from Intoxicated. Is he going to get the air shot on HTZ? Oh, oh no, but... Missing. Uh, Koskoa did. Koskoa got the really nice uh, save that I didn't... Oh, it was on HTZ? Yeah, it saved his life, for sure. That was uh, He was going to crater. So the arrow is saving his life, allowing the repush, and Benj... Picks up MG and uh, Jazz takes down Doge, so this is looking really good for Intoxicated. They got the Uber off as well. They're going to be picking up more frags, surely, but Paulson and Muppet combine and gets another two. But this is a 4v2 in favor of Intoxicated, so uh, this should be pretty easy for them to hold on to. Paulson going down finally in that tunnel area. Four players really need to just rush out onto this point here. Maybe the meat grinder strategy is going to work again. Mac jumping up onto Chinese. Needs to jump on that point, they have 5 seconds, they're not yeah, even trying it. for it at this point. They've got a bit of time on the point, so they can try and get that overtime going, but it looks like it looks like it's not going well so far. They pick up a couple of frags, actually, as Skaz, actually, well, everyone going wow. down, only Benj alive, the, the coordinated bombs coming in, the splash damage on the point, doing so much work, and Benj picks up the constellation frag on the Paulson. Um, it looks like they, they, they really excel at that whole uh, last minute push thing, but uh, I feel like they need to work on the rest of their game. <laughs> So the push is going to come out here from uh, untox uh, Intoxicated. Finally, maybe just end this round. If they can win this one, the positioning is there. They're just pushing forward. Scares is all the way behind. The Uber's popped off from Xenophobia Phobia. So hopefully they'll be able to stem off the push. Scares goes down, as does uh, Benjamin. 
Gramps. With the damage just being traded, scares nice bomb onto Gramps, and the stickies from move help that. Oh, a lot of damage actually going out. So many discs can't even keep up. HTZ going down, as is MG from Moop. So it's 2v2 right now, but Jash and Moop gonna finish that off. So that is the first map going the way of uh, Intoxicated 3 0. Yeah, I didn't expect that level of dom dominance from Intoxicated, honestly. I really, really impressed with them, uh, this map. Admittedly, Xenophobia Phobia had a bit of a. I don't know, so, some misplays, I feel, which probably uh, really could have been avoided. So maybe potentially, partially. Uh, you know, more so xenophobia phobia losing some fights than uh, than intoxicated winning them. But admittedly, the, their, their aggression, particularly I mean, in second and third rounds, was really impressive. Uh, so the next map is going to be uh, Granary Pro Granary. So yeah, yeah, I'm ready for that map. Pretty excited. I feel like honestly, yeah, I'm really impressed with intoxicated. I'll, I'll Interested to see how they fare on a slower pace map, but I'm, I'm, I reckon they'll be fine with how they've been playing. Yeah, I really hope the, the next one um, is as much of an entertaining match as that. Even though it was a 3-0, it was still very entertaining, probably much more than it should have been. I mean, that meat grinder play towards the end of round two, when they actually managed to recap the point when I expected it to be a failed push, and you'd already caught off the round. It was just, you know, very surprising, and that's the, the kind of TF2 I want to see. I mean, uh, the positioning from those teams on a map like product, you wouldn't really think uh, positioning on pushes is really going to have much of an effect. It's more of just to jump on the point and get as much damage as possible. But their positioning actually worked really, really well on those pushes. So hopefully we'll be able to see that level of TF2 on the, on the next map, even though it's a completely different uh, game mode. But yeah, high level TF2 of Premier Oz Fortress, and it's what I love to see. Uh, so looking at the logs, uh, we need the logs. So we'll just get the logs up on the screen for you. All right, let's look at these logs. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I guess two players have disconnected, so we won't be won't be going into the next map quite quite just yet. But there's not much to be said from these. I mean, what have, what have you gone over? Obviously, unfortunately, I couldn't couldn't quite catch what uh, you were I chatting about. I just talked about the um, the positioning that I actually saw on the map. I didn't expect um, you know product to have anything have any man uh, significant positioning even on pushes. Like the pushes that I saw and the positioning that they had actually worked out really really well for them. Yeah, um, I think part of it is is down to Xenophobia's positioning was just subpar. A lot of times they were they were just caught out on pushes. I think there was one. I think it was in that last round. I, I or or the second round. I'm not 100 sure. Where Xenophobia Phobia pushed in, they won like they they, they they won the push and capped it up. And literally, as soon as like the med got out, and I think the med was on like 30 percent or something. Gramps died, so Gramps got there maybe just before the push came in, but they, I think they were expecting uh, Intoxicated to wait until the Uber came up because they knew that Intoxicated had an Uber advantage. They weren't prepared at all. Intoxicated just stormed right on in. I think there were like three players on mid and like one player off at the flank of their health pack and one player maybe back at China. So Xenophobia were not prepared at all. So I think they just weren't necessarily aware and, and weren't quick enough at getting into properly defensible positions. And that really cost them. Um, uh, I mean, other than that, I think one thing I want to want to say, like, I I I said that I thought maybe um, xenophobia phobia would have slightly better scouts. Admittedly, that was because I I didn't realize Doge would be murking scout as opposed to murking med. So he's he's certainly a fine scout, but um, but yeah, I mean, Benj, he had a mammoth game. He played so so well. Like he would just constantly. There were, there were so many times I saw it, and I was like, okay, well, Intoxicated are going to lose this fight. They're down, like, one or two players, and he just come up with two, three really quick frags and turned the tide um, and was really, really good at just protecting his med, keeping keeping Romas from bombing in. I think pa Paulson had some good bombs, but I'd say it was probably, like, a 30% success rate, if, if, if less, if, you know, if that, rather, just because Benji did really, really well at denying him a lot of the time. So I want to shout out to him. I think I would probably put him as my personal MVP. 
but there were a lot of a, a lot of really good plays just from Intoxicated in general, um, particularly on the on their aggression, their coordination with it, their, their soldier bombs in their um their, their timings, like they 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 they're really good at I, I feel just quick. Make, come into a quick decision and a unified decision. They'd, they'd walk out, see someone out of position, and just get on them. They wouldn't wait. They wouldn't, you know, I guess th there was no confusion. There was no, like, one player going after him and, like, three players going back. I think there was only one point where they looked a bit distracted, and that was uh, when they were doing that, the, the one forward hold of the game. And they, um, one scout was just kind of, I think it was MG, was just dancing around. Um, trying to trying to hide, and I think everyone on Intoxicated was looking at him, which allowed uh, allowed Tenofobi to come out and destroy a demo and a, and a soldier. But I think that was the only point where I feel like they they weren't actually on the same page in terms of what each class should be doing. So looking at the logs, honestly, there's actually not much of a no no uh, standout uh, players. Maybe besides HTZ, he got. 21 frags as uh, he, did, he, did, he did a lot. Um, that was very good from him as opposed to Paulson. So, HCZ, I'm assuming that's Hertz, right? Uh, yeah, that would be. Yeah, that yeah, makes sorry. sense. Sorry, we, we were saying HCZ all night. I'm just, I mean, I am personally, I'm, unless I know for a fact, like, unless I've got a ridiculous alias and I know who it is, I'm just going to go with what they say. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people still call Zaka Putty and a lot of people still call Susserus Cookie, but, you know, it, it's still, the, it, if you want to change your alias, Go for it, and and you should be able to, and and not and not be locked into to what you were previously. Um, but yeah, I mean, he 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 had a really good game. Um, I'm impressed. I'm actually surprised at max damage. He he top damaged the whole whole game. Admittedly, not by much. It was very close to to moop. But what I am surprised about, I guess, I, I'm not surprised per se in terms of um how the game went out. I thought Muppet would be more effective, but throughout um moop just, I mean, that's two k damage difference on a you know three round game and Muppet just did not have the impact that he should have on, on Viaduct. But so uh, we are yeah. going live into this next map. This is Granary Pro. So uh, Intoxicated winning that first map. Hopefully they're gonna win the second one. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping as Xenophobia can put up a bit more of a fight and you know, maybe a slower paced map. Um, but yeah, first mid here we go. Take it away George. So, out comes Moop from that catwalk area. He's taking a solid amount of damage, and Muppet's been able to get a lot more aggressive because of the double soldier bomb from the side of Intoxicated. That has worked very well for them. Ben's going down in return, though. Oh, Muppet goes down as well, just some good rockets. But that's a good cleanup from the side of Xenophobia Phobia, and it's just oh, wow. scares left. I that can't believe Graham's That Gramps. was going the way of uh, Intoxicated for a good amount of time there. That synchronized bomb, I thought, would have closed it out for them. But well, they did. They did really well early on what they did is they just totally split up the fight they forced like two players back to the to the death corner one player in garage two players basically competing with the combo of, of intoxicated so that they, they did really well at splitting up the fight but then i think they lost a couple of 1v1s i think it was um oh Doge had a really nice uh two or three k that, that really opened it up so uh, whilst intoxicated had the better i feel like the better plan for mid um, just the, the better individual play came out of uh, Xenophobia there. Way to go, slugger. So coming in to the second push, they're just exchanging spam again, just throwing it around. The demo's obviously going to be quite effective here. Muppets jumped in into the fray, but there's a lot of rockets going from the flank from Doge and Paulson though, going up top. That's going to take down Scares, possibly uh, trigger the push, possibly even the last, but that Scyther is up on uh, Jash. So. Oh wow. And he has a headshot on the, on the um, I think it was Doge, but he was overheal, so it didn't, didn't matter in the end. I think that was Doge that he hit. Um, but the Uber will come out, wow. but Costco does have his as well, so this is going to be fine here for Intoxicated, surely Uber comes out for Intoxicated now, and it's uh, two frags for their way, only Benj goes down from uh, from that side, lots of players dropping for Xenophobia, only Paulson, Muppet and Gramps left alive, just uh, not expecting that Uber to come out I think, um, and Paulson's trying to get some action done up above, but he's been spotted out and going to get cleaned up as well, he actually picks up, he picks up two frags there, Skaz and Jash, so... That might be, I mean, that'll definitely be enough to secure them yard. They're probably going to lose the point regardless, especially with Muppet down. Let's see if they're going to, oh, MG getting really MG aggressive what? by himself, wow. How does he get out? I don't think they were expecting <laughs> that. I, I think he got out purely because who would expect a solo scout to run into a, like, three person on, three people on the point? I think that the pumpkin that he's wearing just spooks them so bad, <laughs> didn't want anything to do with Potentially, it. Potentially, uh, Hurt's going down though, or HCZ rather. 
So they're fighting it out now. There's a lot of damage going out, but no team really getting a push going on. Uh, they are just going to... looks like they're going to have the presence to recapture the point. Oh, they're getting forced off by some good spam. So again, just spam exchange all over the place. We aren't seeing that flank that won them on catwalk... Uh, won them catwalk on that last one. Doge goes down to some very unfortunate spam from this, uh, from Moop. Effectively, probably might stem this push. Scares trying to pick out sandwich, but uh, lunchbox, but it's uh, denied. Spotted out quite early on. That's very observant from I really the side like, of oh, phobia. Phobia. Yeah, I was going to say something, but I mean, just had moving out already. Really nice and aggressive. I really like this play, but Ben's going down might uh, cool things up. It's a uh, really split up though. They got no one with them. The Uber will come out really, really late. Move goes down, but this is fine because Skaz and the HTZ picking up so many frags. Only two players left alive now for Xenophobia, only Doge to try and clean thing anything up, but he's uh, way too low. That was really nice. Fighting around at mid now, Doge is jumping around all the players. He hasn't actually hit anyone <laughs> yet, but gets stuck on the sign and goes down. Oh, that was very unfortunate for him. He had a Man. decent position, but he just couldn't connect the shots. And just okay, we're just allowed to milk that Uber for so, so, so long. It was just, it was just Kozkoa and her out by themselves. And they, 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 they didn't take any damage somehow. And actually, the Repush is trying to come in here for his Xenophobia, but not really working out. The only thing up hurts Mac and the energy going down. Paulson down as well. Nice pipe from Moop. And uh, looks like they, that'll probably be, uh, oh, I said probably. That's definitely the Ooh. end of that push. But Kramps takes down Jash and should get out of it alive thanks to that. That was actually quite funny. Uh, Jash just completely ran straight past uh, Muppet and completely ignored him. Trying to get that mid pick, only to be taken down by a good crossbow from Gramps. So... Probably didn't pay off in that decision. That Cosco has got that Uber, and actually they're moving, they're moving in so aggressively. Man, that okay. Wow, all right, Grant gets taken. Unfortunately, down. I think uh, I think uh, games crashed. So we'll just do a radio cast for now. Um, looks like Mac and Muppet picking up two frags on this defense. Jash going down as well, so just the frags not there for Intoxicated moving in. Cosco and Moop, the only one left alive. So, uh, looks like, I guess, yeah, Intoxicated just didn't have that, uh, they had a really nice aggressive Uber, but they just got kited so effectively, and we're back nice and quick. Um, thankfully, we has got a wonderful computer that's actually way better than mine. It would be, it would be, it would be a long time if we're streaming on mine, guys. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Koz is just going to be walking into this mid, so they're going to be defending it, but they have a lot of players to contest with. Scares takes a lot of damage early on and finally goes down. Jash jumping on those crates, gets a lot of damage up, Moop goes down, that is very significant for them. Mac gets traded in return and Hurt's getting knocked down quite low. Koz Koa is getting chased around by Doge, he finally hits the shots that he needs to. Jash and uh, Ven are actually quite low. Oh no, oh! Doge! Come on, he's on 2 <laughs> HP! <laughs> oh, that could have been so good. Three players it was on the still, side it was of still Intoxicated. Fine. <laughs> You're lucky I'm bad, Doge says in chat. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, he picked up Koskoa, so he, he, did, he did everything he needed to. Honestly, that, that Soldier Frag, it could have secured them um, yards, but it's still fine. They still keep that Uber Charge advantage, massive Uber Charge advantage, and uh, hopefully they'll they'll be more decisive with it. I feel like they need to move in forward further. Oh god, Graham's taking so much damage, please don't drop. Hertz is actually still quite low, and he just picked up the, the damage what? right there, and Hertz cratered! I mean, not Hertz, uh, Scares cratered, he just got bounced up and wasn't saved on that landing. The Uber has popped out by Xenophobia as they push into this yard area. No players to really fight inside the scout, and Mooper's gonna try to get some spam out, but hopefully Doge's gonna pick up the frame. Doge! No! Come on, Gramps! The, the classic demo v med you know fight no it's not gonna happen no he's he's, he's decided against it even though his crossbow dm has been insane so far he's just decided <laughs> to cut his losses um, and get back to his team that's kind of what i meant though that, that that uber just was so messy moving out they took so long just sitting in gar garage they were lucky it went as well as it did honestly they picked up Kozkoa. it was fine they managed to get two frags somehow while trapped inside garage and just taking spam, so I feel like they need to just be quicker with it because they're just wasting so much time taking damage and Muppet gonna go down on the flank, he was left alone to a Jash to just run at him and HTZ is gonna pick up Doge as well and Skaz takes down Mac, this is not looking good here for uh, Xenophobia that they're trying to get a back app on to make some space this one's very hurried, he goes oh, no. down and they're gonna, kept, uh, gonna get the second point secured and be able to move into this mid just two players up on the side of Xenophobia Phobia and they're just gonna hold in the yard realizing probably not the best idea to push into mid right now. Yeah, they they were wasted they had a big advantage there. There was a massive wasted opportunity. They just need to be a bit more uh, 
careful about that positioning, holding that second point. Have, you know, buddy system pretty much. Have a scout with your demo. Have a soldier with your med, scout with your med. It would be fine. They would have had an uber advantage to push in. But actually, the ubers come out now for uh, both teams. The had had to go forced really Mook. early. Mook gets taken down quite early on. Koz is completely playerless against an uber. He goes down. Uh, and then it's just this... Oh, Grant's got a nice crossfire onto Kozko. <laughs> I like HCZ. I like where HCZ is there. now though. Oh, he's been spotted, so it's not, not an issue anymore. Um, I, I didn't quite see, I guess Intoxicated must have gotten forced there and I didn't quite catch it. So whoever did that, massive, massive props. That was a, uh, well not round winning, but fight winning uh, play. So that massive, uh, the, the Uber coming out from, from Xenophobia just solely down to the lack of Uber from Intoxicated. Of course, uh, Xenophobia is going to be pushing into this yard area now. The spam's going out. Is it going to be enough to hold them back in garage, though? They're just going to be fighting at their respective choke points. Paulson goes down. Engie's very low. He goes down, but he takes down Scares at the same time. As does Doge, actually. What? Ben, <laughs> the Uber gets what? forced by Gramps just that, by that Ben alone. That did not need to be popped. That did not need to be popped. Uh, <laughs> they were taking no damage, and Max gonna find some frags. The back cap's going on. They got no one back to defend it right now. So back capping mid while the combo is ubered into your second. That is just some weird stuff happening. Max picks up the frag on a HTZ, and Grab's gonna make it out. Maybe. Ooh. What is going on? This is a very odd fight that we're seeing right now. But it's down to just Jesh and Cos on the side of Intoxicated to fight against these four xenophobic players. Doge goes down, but they actually won that with the Uber. So. Unless uh, Nards run out way too early, they do have the players to back them up though, so gonna get them out of garage. So that was actually a very interesting, confusing, uh, but effective play on the side so of Intoxicated. That was strange. That was genuinely really quite strange. It ended up working out for Intoxicated. I'm, su I'm surprised it did, I gotta admit. Um, a nice foresight, I guess, to try and attempt that back up on mid, because it worked out beautifully for them. Uh, admittedly, Gramps does have a massive Uber Charge advantage here, so they'll be probably looking to push out with this pretty soon if they... Yeah, going with how they played before. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The Uber's popped out here from the side of Xenophobia. Jesh goes down. First casualty of this Uber. Binge and Scares are behind. Doge goes down because of them. Scares goes down and return. Just that one player left behind. The Uber was only really effective at getting them out of that yard area. Pick up much else. Ben is actually even going to escape here. Yeah, that shouldn't have happened. A lot they, of damage um, and even a kill on that. It was that quite flank. nice. Quite nice by the flank of Intoxicated. They put a lot of pressure on, trying to get through that roller door and force a lot of players back to try and deal with them. But Paulson getting a lot of damage on. Mac gets oh. a drop on the Koskoa. Oh, the nice double spam. And Muppet gets a two for Benj and Moop going down. And it's only Jash and Skaz left alive for Intoxicated. That was so nice. The double soldier spam. Jash going in. for the back cap though. He's on the back and they're so far away from him. He's going to get the... Nah, I don't think he will. Oh, actually, no, he will. Sorry, yeah, I thought there was will. one person going through. He might even be able to run to last. No, he's Paulson's just going to dodge Paulson. So he won't be able to get to last, but that's a big, big play. That was good uh, for him. It was very heads up. Decided to just ditch his teammate, and he knew what was important there, and it really, really worked out for him. He's lucky there was no respawning player there as well. That turned in. That turned uh, pushing into your second against an, uh, with an Uber um, to a. Defend or potentially you know, holding on to mid and pushing into their second. So really, really yeah. nice back up there. And Jash picked up Mac as well, so uh, he's been slamming it tonight. Alright, okay, so they're going to fall back all the way into second, not even trying to hold yard right now. A lot of players on Intoxicated are quite harmed, but actually Kozko has actually been quite effective at healing his team up for this push-in. A lot of spam going out. The Ubers come out from Xenophobia Phobia. Hurts caught out there. He goes down. The Ubers popped out and returned the moot. Walking straight into second. They haven't multied at all. This is going to last for a very long time. Hopefully they can get the damage out to suffice for that. Scares is stuck up top. He's got two players coming to fight him after taking down one himself. But the, that allows them to get a good amount of presence on the point. Oh, Just Doge and moot trying to take down a scout right now. Did so well there. It's not over yet. Mac picking up a frag and it's a 2v3. It's a winnable 2v3 because there's no heals at all. And uh, now down to a 2v2, picking up health packs as well. But Moop picks a nice pipe on the MG. That was really nice. Oh. Moop's so low. 1 HP. <laughs> Please, Please hit the don't. Pipe. Oh, yeah, oh, the splash what? damage from Mac. Okay, he will get it. I actually didn't think he'll get oh. that from that angle. And he'll uh, he'll live. This will be that's a secured second. So <laughs> scrappy in the end again, but managing to pull it out. This is still 0 0. No stalemates actually. It's all been action. So quite nice to watch so far, I must admit. That was, um, I, I, again, I'm quite surprised with how well uh, Xenophobia managed to defend, not, hold on to that. Mac and Paulson so low though. And they're going to be trying to move. Okay, no, they are moving back. Okay, I was wondering. It looked like they were trying to move in despite having like three players in the red. So 
I mean, keep in mind, fine. we're still on 0-0 zero, and zero. we've had this good of a game already. I can't wait to see how the rest of this is going to go. So oh, yeah, the push is going to be coming in from... Oh, the re getting ready for the push is going to be coming in from the side of Intoxicated. The Xenophobia's got that a pretty solid defense going on. Muppet getting very aggressive, gets blown back by those stickies. But it's not going to deal enough oh. damage to be too significant. Scare's going down, but Paulson's traded in return. Very, a lot of aggressiveness from Mac onto the scouts here in the flank. The Uber's being popped on him just to save him. Xenophobia and Intoxicator both getting their Ubers out. Mac, oh, just about lost that. Uh, it looks like Gramps might have just ditched him at the wrong time. So the push is coming in from Intoxicated. Muppet goes down, so that demo, very important for the second hold. This goes down, so they're going to walk all the way back up to last. MG gets picked up on the retreat, and Doge is the only one actually left in second, but he's going to decide to go all the way out here. And anyway, Intoxicated are going to be pushing straight into last. Ben, uh, Jash going down early on to Doge. Ben picking up Doge, though. And then Gramps picking up Benj in return. It's just Mook and Paulson fighting, and they go down. A lot of frags going all over the place right now. Gramps pulling out the Uber. No, he gets it! Like, what? What? He, he got the Uber! No! It's a game saver! Gramps! Oh. Gramps, what a legend! That was ridiculous! Okay, wow, that was, uh, there was a lot I wanted to say about that. That whole, um, basically, really nice play, I thought, coming out from Mac, the aggressive Uber working out quite well for them. Uh, however, Muppet, I feel like Xenophobia need to keep someone with Muppet on that second, or in general, because he's, he's been getting caught out a little bit, having scouts kind of rush at him and being a bit defenseless, and that's been losing them a couple of holds. But, man, and I, I thought, with, with losing that second then, Intoxicated, we're going to have a really solid shot taking this, and they look to be winning that fight until Gramps comes out with the clutch Ubersaw and gets the... That was... Oh, I'm so impressed. That, that was, was just amazing was from Gramps. I can't get over that. There was such a spur-of-the-moment sort of thought, but it shows his game sense paying off in a big way there for a relatively inexperienced Prem player. It shows that he deserves to be there. Anyway, Scares gets very deep in. He's taken down Gramps. The Uber's forced out of him. He's had another Uber so quickly. So they're going to be pushing in through Garage here, and hopefully Jash... Yeah, he does get spotted by Doge there, so he's not going to get anything done. So he's just playing around a garage here. Mac goes down, so that's the soldier spam that they've lost right there. So they're going to decide to just hold back in yard. Pushing into mid at this point. Nearly, oh, because the the fully recharged now. This is looking a bit scary again for Xenophobia. Phobia, they're going to have to defend versus fully. But see if they can force up early. That'd be really nice. But it looks like I'm talking getting early ground really nice and quick. So it won't even be forced in that second area or outside the yard. So the Uber is popped off from Intoxicated here. Gramps going down to some stickies as is Muppet. So that's the, the bulk of the combo going down. Paulson goes down on the flank as well. So it's just three players up from on the side of Xenophobia Phobia to get last. So maybe, yeah, Intoxicated getting the push. So we'll just walk straight onto the point here. They've got three players to continue with. Mac is very far forward. However, he's going to rotate back, get and some spam out, and no. First just... round, fifth, well, 16 minute long round. That was very back and forth. Both teams had their chances and I feel like, yeah, well, it actually, Paulson did quite well at the start of that Uber. He actually got a frag onto Hertz really nice and early. Um, but then it looked like everyone else was just too far forward. So, and nice play by Moop, I must admit. He, he moved forward with that Uber. He went past Paulson, ignored him, and just went straight for the med, straight for the demo and got them, got them both down, I'm pretty sure. So it was really, really nice for him. So, just again, you see players jumping around on crates, two soldiers colliding straight face to face in midair. Cosco with it going down very early on, so that's going to trigger a lot of deaths on the side of Intoxicator. So it's, but it's turned into a 3v2v2 now. The move is so low that Scout just needs to get a little bit aggressive, takes him down, and Jash gets taken down as well. Good DM from MG, and that just, that, so many deaths in such a small amount of time. Especially after Cosco going down very early to a scout there, Gramps is going to survive and have a huge over advantage as uh, was Cosco has only just respawned. That would have been a total, like, four, like, uh, four-man kind of uh, win there if Moop hadn't hit two ridiculous pipes um, on low HP throughout, like, in, in that mid. So it ends up being, you know, hold, holding on to second as opposed to potentially only holding on to last. So nice play from him. Um, but, I mean, as, as with Xenophobia, if I could choose any two players to have, on, on, on a mid fight at the end, I'd choose a med and a scout. They, they were you know, easy, easy cleanup. Easiest cleanup of your life. Uh, yeah, that was really nice from them winning that uh, 2v2, even though it was okay. quite low. Oh, we have a sniper out from Jash and he takes down Paulson very easy. Wow. Right. Oh, Gramps. Oh, they're pushing out the left side of Xenophobia. They're going to get the flank on. The sentry's Not there again. and it hasn't been taken. The Uber's popped onto that sentry. 
<laughs> the Uber gets taken off uh, the scout there and he goes down. The sentry's staying up. So Mac left there alone on last and he's gonna go down. <laughs> Wow. Okay, well, I mean, I feel like they really didn't need to do that. I feel like they could have just taken that Uber in. in like, you know they've got a sniper there. You know, like, their, their combo's really close. You can just rush that Uber in, take a scout, take a take a demo, and just try to get in their faces with that Uber. But they try to take the long way around, and they in, in doing so, left Jash totally open. Like, they, they, there was no pressure on him. He took, like, five, six shots and got two frags on, onto a... Uh, I think it was, uh, well, got one onto Paulson, got one onto MG trying to cap the point as well, and just totally denied any any other pressure coming in. So, nice by him, but just, yeah, misplay, I feel, from Xenophobia more so. So, they have captured mid here, intoxicated, and Xenophobia having to push out all the way back into yard. All the way back from their last, all the way back into yard, so, you know, that's, that kind of shows the defeat that they just had. Costco takes a rocket from spam, but... It's not going to have any impact whatsoever. So they're just going to hold the chokes, see what the when the trigger is, uh, when the push is triggered. Cosco has got the Uber, so he's going to be pushing in through Death Corner. The Uber's popped off quite early on. Mook going in for a deep bomb, as is uh, Hurts. Go in and her, uh, Mook goes down quite low, but they take down a lot of players. Muppet going down, as is Max. Grant so that's Demo, not second. Paulson, he's stuck in there. He's going to go in, and he gets a lot of damage out, but no kills. Cosco could have been very, very bad situation there for him. Scares jumping out into last already just two scouts up on the side of xenophobia for this last but they get the presence that they need i don't know why paulson tried to play there like he, he he tried to play on the second when there were you know five players together and easy it was easily shut down when he could have played together with the scouts using the high ground on last and then his his spawning med so i feel like that, that was a potential hold that he really threw away. Um, I mean, there were, there were a couple of mistakes throughout that, but I think that was the most glaring um, for Xenophobia there. So, on this mid fight, coming into it yet again, a lot more okay. high ground from Intoxicated. Right. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, okay, so Gramps goes down super early on from spam there. That was so good from him. Uh, Hertz has the high ground, so he's going to get a good position on these players. It's just Muppet and Mac up as both scouts have gone down. Mac jumping in deep, but he gets too much damage given to him. Moop trying to take down Muppet with that melee, but he just gets the, the team kill. I can't believe that kill <laughs> yeah, on the ground. Well, that was okay, so, so there's the whole, you know, the idea behind getting the med isn't actually that important on mid, because often what, what, you, what you see some lower tier teams do is they'll ex overextend for the med. They'll send like three players, and they'll get the med, but then they'll all die, giving the massive advantage over the other team. That didn't happen because no one extended for the med. Moop just got a frag with stickies from across the map. Like, what are you going to do about that? So, uh, the yard hold is in right now. Hurt's got a lot of presence on that point, but he decided not to finish off that cap. <laughs> Still can't get over that kill on Gramps. He's had such an unfortunate game. He, he's, he's, just... he's taken too much spam, I feel. He's had some good moments, but he just really needs to work on his positioning and watching where damage is coming from, because there's been a lot of times he's taken unnecessary damage and it's forced to pop too early or forced him into a bad position or even just straight up killed him. I, I would have left the game by now if I was Gramps, to be honest. He's <laughs> just, I don't know how he puts up with it. Hurts going down in a lunchbox there. Mac taking him down quite easy. Scares. Oh, that's good, Mac. Scares is up there as well. Jesh goes down to Mac, though. Scares jumping around, just avoiding the flank of Xenophobia. Phobia. He goes down to Paulson, however. So, uh, Intoxicator pushing all the way back. Uh, Moop craters after a shot from Mac, knocks him up into the air. MG chasing the combo all the way out. Benj actually did use his Boston Basher there, but... Oh, Coz, he might actually oh, get caught get up by no. no, really. That was, I mean, that was, that was fine. That was, that was totally fine to try. That's one of the, the no-risk kind of plays. You know, if you've already got the point presence and everything, particularly on a map like Granary, where it's so hard to push in, and you've got the Uber, it's fine to make that play to try and secure yourself more ground. But here we go. Actually, a lot of aggression coming in from Intoxicated, trying to work off that one pick. Jash and Mook going down early. Both Ubers were forced off. Gramps was, was forced off a fair bit earlier, but it's only three players left alive now for Intoxicated. They have to back out. Paulson's on the back cap as well. I'm not sure why, considering his team won the fight so convincingly this is just giving another frag over to intoxicated but it should be fine still a 5v3 a lot of damage coming out for the second hold Matt goes down to lovely uh was that a crater or a rocket to himself i didn't see gramps I, jumping out through death sure, a lot of damage going on to his team but he's going to be able to heal them they have a lot of time to just get ready for this mid hold and wait for intoxicated to come which is going to be very very soon and i hope they're ready for it Actually all the way back in garage, probably not even considering holding mid. Both scouts are 
relatively in, but they've decided awesome. against it. <laughs> he, gets in. he gets in, he picks up Koskoa. He guys go down, but Adosh go lots of flags actually going for Intoxicated, so they get the med. But a uh, nice aggression, Scats picks up NG as well, so it's only Muppet and Gramps left alive. Jash picks up Muppet, only Gramps on 79%. Gramps if you can get one Ubersaur, if you can get one Ubersaur, he's fine, but he's not going to no. get it. I expected the whole, I, I, I thought he was just going to wait at the corner a second there and try to go for the, 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 the Ubersaur as he comes around the corner, but that's a... Uh, a bit of a throw there. Again, look, I feel like this this goes back to that mid where, like, fighting on mid where Paulson just got too aggressive. Like, they, they won the fight on mid, but Paulson was already trying to back cap second for no real reason when it could have been a 6v3, ended up being a 5v3, which then they lost one early and then couldn't continue pushing on. So, Paulson, I guess, maybe a bit too aggressive in inopportune moments. He got a nice pick on the med. Um, after that, but it wasn't really enough, and now they're holding last with six minutes, six and a half minutes remaining, being down to zero two. So Paulson sniper, Paulson sniper. <laughs> oh dear, let's see how this. I actually haven't seen this before. No, I think, neither have I. So we'll see. I, I, I mean, he's he's got good aim in general, but I haven't seen it translate to that uh, nice scope. So we'll see how he see how he goes. So it looks like Costco uh, is gonna want to push out. He's got the Uber just he right now. Headshot. He gets two. He gets wow, two that hurts. That's, that's two headshots in a row. A bit of miscommunication on the Uber percentage there. Hertz was out there by himself, probably expecting that Uber any time. But oh, that rescue ranger making that seems to last a oh, lot longer God, than disgusting. it really should have. That's disgusting. <laughs> it makes me feel ill watching that. Max so hurt, he gets taken down. But Scares gets traded for on top of that pipe. Ben getting very aggressive onto Xenophobia here. Mooper's got a good position by that distraction though. They've had to rotate to uh, hurt him just a little bit. MG taking them quite low, but he's got his mid there to back him up. Moop goes down to a nice pipe from Muppet, and now the reinforcements for Xenophobia are here. Just hurts left now. The rest of his team just disintegrated around him. He gets a nice pick on the MG. Good rockets from him, but <laughs> goes down to Paulson. Um, they pick on. I mean, they'll be able to take second, but it won't be. It's not convincing. They're pretty low, um, moving in now. So a potential pick coming in from Josh if he can get it, but no, that he doesn't see the demo coming in behind him. So uh, gets a bit potentially too aggressive, and that's actually really nice. And scouts going down as well. So xenophobia actually in a really nice spot here to move out, and uh, we'll see if they actually can get some ground without having to pop that Uber. So just well, actually, intoxicated, just going to walk straight all the way back to just outside Garrus. So. I think they're aware of the, the potential dangers that come. The Uber's popped off quite early on. Hurts just jumping away almost instantly, and they're only going to pick up him. But Doge goes down in return, but Josh gets taken down. Scares is left here alone, goes down to MG. So that Uber was quite effective in pushing them out, but they probably didn't get as many kills as they wanted to, especially because Costco is still yes. up. Exactly, that's a huge one. Um, defend, holding on to second, so trying to push into second against an Uber is so, so, so difficult on Granary. Um, I, one thing I want to say is actually I'm really surprised at how little the Xenophobia, both teams really have tried to abuse Lunchbox pushing in. Neither team, they've both been really going forward just straight through, on to second, trying to force something. Wow, air shot coming in! Nice. Move with a nice one on the pulse and won't get the frag from it. And we actually got a back cap trying to go through. They're getting a lot of time on it, but it's not going to work because... Uh, they're getting stuff and the cap's going through on mid with the scout, med, and soldier. So that's going to basically... Look, I'm not going to ride it. It's still technically... Pos like, it's still possible, definitely, to get two rounds in, in four minutes. But with the way that they're playing and with, the, with where the combo for Xenophobia is, <laughs> I don't see it happening. <laughs> like, they do have the they've got full over, but they can't they use it. <laughs> they're in no oh, position Grimms to use it. Oh, Gramps has been caught out by scares too. And he drops Muppet. Oh, no. Oh, Gramps, what is no. going on? And they're just going to be, this is fine for, for Intoxicator, they're just going to wait. They, they, okay, the, the Uber's now finally popped up, they're going to pick up Gramps, nice and easy. And it's a 6v4, they can take this nice and slow. Um, Muppet's not up for another 6 seconds, so another couple of frags here for them, and that's, game, that's, that's the round. Wow, actually the position he hasn't been too good for Intoxicated. Oh, wow. oh no. Oh, they, didn't, they, didn't have the, they didn't have the heals, they don't have a med, like what? <laughs> what more can they do? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man, I don't I, know. I, I, I just want to know who's going to do an insane uh, bomb this time to completely See, this, throw me off. I mean, the thing that really confuses me is, is obviously, like, Paulson called for Jasmine. So he's got, it's not like he's a mindless demo player who just kind of, he just get, does what he's told. He knows what to do, so I'm just confused as to why they're just looking so uncoordinated. So the fighting is going on. Doge has actually got a good position in behind him. He's taken no damage and put a lot of damage out onto Intoxicated's demo. And now he's even picked up another kill. 
Binge going down as well, and Scares is just left alone in the uh, corner there. He's trying to take down Grant, so he can't connect the rocket, so that's a, that's a, that's a great, wipe. That's a great mid, really great mid. But there's two minutes 19 left on the clock, and they're down by three rounds. Like, they can maybe, <laughs> they can get two rounds, for sure. I think on Granary, you need, I think it's like 53 seconds if you are perfect. So, I think it's technically possible, it's, it's possible if they literally cap last right now. Well, like we know if, they're they trying, because the that Uber came out very, very early. Muppet going down, because he's alone, they didn't have the players to support them when Muppet was in. So much damage going out onto Xenophobia over here. Two players not up, gonna happen. this last push. Costco is kind of low, so if, uh, if MG can get a lucky, you know, get, get around behind, and, or someone spawns against around behind, they can probably do something, but it's not going to happen. Just aggression. Just <laughs> stay alive. Him around. So alive. How, how is he still alive? Oh, the Rams don't and look, Rams is going don't for the Uber source. Oh. oh, okay. He, like, he's going for the showmanship plays. I think when they realized they hadn't, like, realizing they hadn't won that push, if they'd capped last there, if they, they had a shot. There was like, what, two minutes and ten seconds left on the clock, so they had a shot at being able to win. But I think now they know it's over. They're having a bit of a bit of fun with it. A minute 15 left on the clock, down by three rounds. So, uh, wow. I mean, I'm impressed with the intoxicated. I gotta say. So, they just, pop as you say, this is a essentially dead time that we're playing through right now. They're just going to be exchanging a lot of damage out, and they've got just a minute left on the clock, so possibly just to beef up the stats a little bit, they're going to go for some kills. Paulson sitting in garage now, getting some spam out, takes down Kozka, but is it going to be enough? No, just 40 seconds left now on the clock, as uh, Intoxicated actually going for that rubbing salt in the wound, might even push it into last. I just want to quickly say to everyone in, in chat, you know, thinking this game's over. This game is over for sure. We're actually going to another game after this, so stay to just stay around. Don't don't close your stream down. Stats aren't. I mean, we'll go over stats. Don't just close it down because they're boring. You know, we got got another game coming up. Yeah, that will be uh, what is it? Damage Incorporated versus the two nineteen and the Pencil Jumpers, I believe. That that is correct. And you know, we, you know, just going over the final bit. We'll see if either team can get a final. Well, I mean, either team. We'll see if uh, Intoxicated can get the final round. Make it a four zero. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to, you know, only two players left alive and uh, four seconds left. So that's the GG, 3-0. It'll be 3-0, 3-0, obviously 3-0, Viaduct being the Mercy Rule and, uh, well not Mercy Rule, just, just the max the max score and uh, time on Granary. So really impressive performance, i got to say, from Intoxicated. Yeah, no, that was a very good uh, match, especially that play from Gramps early on with the that uh, split second double uber saw to get that uber it was i i still love that play and then also that spam on mid that takes him down with those three long range stickies it was oh you can't get over that sort of thing yeah um i guess i feel like yeah they, they came down to xenophobia phobia had some wonderful play in the first half of granary i was really impressed with a lot of their pushes together um i feel like again they should have abused set, uh, lunchbox a lot more particularly because uh, a lot of what they were doing wrong came down to how much unnecessary spam they were eating. There were a lot of times where they would be trying to push in through a choke and they would just wait and they would just sit there. They wouldn't, try, they would, they wouldn't break through and they wouldn't Uber. Like, it's fine to go through without Ubering if you go quick, like just fast, 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 fast. You know, a lot of, a lot of teams like to go through garage and just go out through left in the yard because oftentimes, obviously, the combo is holding on the right side. So you can avoid that, get some ground for free and not take too much spam doing it. They just stood there in garage and just took loads and loads and loads of damage. No one, I think they managed to get two frags. Luckily, there was one time where I noticed it, but it was just a, you know, once they've done that, they can't really be effective in the post uber fight because half of them are in the red. So the logs are up now. Just having a quick look, Chesh, 33 kills and Hurts, 34. And on the other side, Mac and Paulson on 35 That's kills, crazy, respectively. That's crazy, actually. Um, I mean, I'm, yeah, well, Mac, it was like, Mac had a really good game on Granary, I feel. I feel Paulson had... He was effective when he wanted to be, or when he was making the right decisions. When he was doing the right thing, he was really, really effective, getting lots of good picks. But there were lots of times he was just... Well, I'm not going to say doing nothing, but trying to do things that were either entirely unnecessary or just going the wrong way about them. There were lots of times he'd try for back caps, or even try for med picks that didn't matter. Like... He would be jumping in when they have an Uber and they know, and they know that the other med is at like 20% and just jumping in and trying to kill the med 
for you know, despite the fact that they could have killed a demo way closer to them. So I mean, I'm not going to pin all the blame on him. It's not it's not his fault that they lost. I just a couple of no- moments where I, I noticed where he he in particular was getting a bit too a bit too aggressive. Um, but you know, I, I feel like it came down to a, a you know coordination, their willingness to take spam. Um, I, I mean, ramps had a lot of really good moments, but he, I, I, th- I feel like he, in particular, took a lot of spam, particularly on Viaduct. I mean, there were lots of pipes from Moop that went across the map, and I mean, that happens. You can't, you can't say, you know, you can just always avoid that, because sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're looking at the scout in your face, and then a pipe comes from, like, China and, and hits you, and you go, well, crap. But there were times where he, he wasn't under pressure and, and, and took damage that he didn't need to. Um, then, I guess, um, Doge, he, he was a stand-in. It, it, the... the coordination there isn't always going to, you know, that, that's always going to be a bit tough. Um, so, I mean, he, I feel like he had a bit of a rough game, but that part of that is because A, he's a med main, B, he, he isn't part of the team. So, you know, you excuse him there. Um, I feel like MG played pretty well um, for the most part, but yeah, I feel like most of it just came down to team cohesion. And you could actually be part of that being down to the fact that they did have a, have a sub scout, but even then, I feel like a lot of the decisions they made as a team, I don't think that the combo moving into points was... Uh, Subpar. So overall, that match I've got to say was really entertaining. I'm still in love with Gramps. I'll never get over that play. I just, oh, it was it was sick. Like I can't get over just. <clears throat> I think the biggest part of it is that I would me personally would never have even the slightest capability to be able to think that quickly and um you know be uh, quick enough to make a play like that. If that makes sense. So I think that's the the part that just amazes me the most. 